Good flipping morning to you. It's me again. What am I doing today? Well, I'm actually going over to a little town called Kirby Lonsdale. I presume that's in the middle of Cumbria. Am I correct? Yes, it is. That means a long car trip, indeed. So, yes. Anyway, it's going to be a nice looking town, I hope. It's going to be good and stuff. Exciting. Can't wait to go. Anyway, I think it's all I have to say right now. I'll see you on the jump cut. Well, it's been a, a couple of hours now. And um, we're now walking our way up to a place called the Devil's Bridge. Which is uh, quite close to Kirby Lonsdale. That's actually pretty far from home. In fact, I'll do a nice little... Cumbrian nature shots. Very beautiful, yes. Very beautiful. So, in a minute we'll be going up to the Devil's Bridge and I'll uh, do a little bit of a shot from there. I'll see you in the jungle. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> we're now actually at the Devil's Bridge. You can see the sign right here. It says, uh, well, it's one of the finest medieval bridges still existing in the north of England. It's actually a Grade 1 listed scheduled ancient monument, that's a, that's a mouthful, spanning the River Loon. It was built probably sometime in the 14th or 15th century. Oh, by the monks of St. Mary's Abbey in New York. Those guys were busy. Um, yeah, my dad also says that there is apparently a uh, story of this place where the devil was here once, yeah, and uh, he got very angry, and I think he stomped his hoof and cracks a rock. Although I'm pretty sure, highly confident, that he's just telling the story of this, like, boulder from Cliverow that, like, um, the devil picked up from somewhere around the, uh, either the Pennines or York, and, like, threw it all the way to Cliverow, you know, landing just short of Cliverow Castle. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's really all i got to say for now. I'll see you all in Kirby Lonsdale. So now, uh, basically at the river, you can see it actually goes quite a fair distance. And we're going to pan around slowly, more of the waving river. And that there's the bridge I was just on just before, the Devil's Bridge. I'll, I'll change the story because of like the devil, because okay, there was actually a myth here about the uh, the devil and what he did. So basically he uh, he, put, he said, he, he, he made a deal with this old woman saying that um, he, he could claim the first soul who crossed the bridge in return for its own construction, right? So when so when it was actually complete, um, the woman actually tricked the devil by making her dog run across by throwing a loaf of bread over the bridge, making the dog chase it. And the devil was outwitted, you know. So the moral of that story is, is when you when you see a contract, kids, that may be harmful to yourself, make sure that you look for loopholes so you can actually like foil them and put the bad guy in your place. Anyway, I think that's really all I got to say right now. I'll see y'all soon. So we've actually come to the radical steps. They're constructed in the 1820s by Dr. Francis Pearson of this parish. Originally comprising 46 steps with 11 landings. Take care. Let's not take any care. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's go up. Continuing to climb up the uh, radical steps. Definitely no transition just then at all. Really. Um... Mmm, garlic. Wild garlic, my friends. Perfectly good when you're lost in the wilderness and you need a bit of flavour to your rabbit. Uh, okay. Wonder if there are rabbits in the USA. I wonder. 
anyway, um, there probably is. Yeah, there, there is. Anyway, continuing up. Continuing up and stuff. Oh, it's quite puffing. Quite a puffing trip, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, would you look at that? It's a flipping toucan at the top of the steps. There we go. Must be must be an old chew toy or something left behind. Yeah. <sighs> Poor thing. Um. Anyway, I found this little tower. Must have belonged to some sort of a uh, old medieval fortification, maybe, or maybe the church. I don't know. Anyway, we're at the top now. We're almost at the top. We just got one, two, three, four steps. And uh, yeah, it's something to do with the religion. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. I'll see you on the jump cut. Okay, so we're walking along, right? And apparently, th these carriages and stuff up here, this is all allegedly part of the set for an upcoming Doctor Doolittle movie. Well, it's quite a, it's quite a shocking thing to come upon whilst you're out walking. You know, uh, don't know who that. I don't know who that fool is stood in the middle of the street. Not one of the stars. Not one of the stars. No, I mean, one of the black holes sucks out all the light. Um, anyway, we're going to move up a bit closer. So you can see there's some medieval, not medieval, Victorian-looking carriages from like early 1900s and stuff. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know who's in this. I mean, I wonder if they bought like Eddie Murphy for this or something. Probably not. Um. Yeah, I think this is as far as we're going to go, because I don't know if we'll be able to record. Yes, yeah, so here we go. The actual set of an up-and-coming Doctor Doolittle film. Well, not the set. It's just like, well, the actors and stuff are going to stay. But yeah, it looks pretty exciting. Yeah, um, I think that's all I've got to say right now. I'll see you all in the jump cut. So, we're here, ladies and gentlemen, on the actual set of the Doctor Doolittle film. I think they just let us walk on, no security or anything. You can see what they've done. Like uh, some of the s some of the like set and stuff, the back set. You can see why they chose this area to film for the Doctor Doolittle film. It looks quite Victorian and stuff, you know. I mean, aside from the modern glass. Um, so this is like the actual. They've actually even made a dirt road here. I mean quite impressive um, so this here is a no parking reminder uh, until from Monday to Thursday the fifth Tuesday the 15th um, wow I mean they're filming for Dr. Doolittle right here I mean we're actually on the set okay. right so um we're actually on on the set of Dr. Doolittle right now there's a I think there's some film people right there, just like uh, setting up, you know. Um, so here. here we are. I mean, they we actually on the market set of the Doctor Do little film. Um, it's actually not fully unpacked yet, but I mean, it's actually looks quite good actually quite actually believable and well made um, okay just had to let someone through there but here we go it's pretty exciting stuff you know maybe I might get a bit of a extra bowl no probably not anyway um, I think that's all that I can really acceptably record so I'll see you on the jump cut well it's the uh, end of the day now um, yeah, it's been quite an alright one again. Um, quite a surprise what we found in Kirby Lonsdale, as a matter of fact. Yeah. 
Anyways, if you like this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to it. And sh share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Also, follow my Instagram. I'll see y'all tomorrow.